So this this definitely feels like a real dash and bash because it feels like a lot of looting, a lot of kicking and screaming is happening right now. Like a real dash and bash. <laughs> like I'm giving you, I'm giving yeah. you my my, my metal <laughs> head banging. Yes. Yo, so pretty yes. much we have this uh, update happening right now. If you just check the James clip we showed, like you know, like they're the the government or business lobbyists, whatever, they're all saying that you know people need to go back to work and unemployment is making people lazy. That's pretty much what the narrative is happening. And what mm -hmm. the problem is about the narrative that policies are actually um, being implemented right now to cut unemployment. Mind you, people are behind rent, people are behind bills, people are behind car payments, people the gas is about to go up in some astronomical nightmare way. And yet right now they want to cut unemployment. So but Fox News, you know, they kind of we're gonna show this Fox News clip, which is like or horrendous. Even though it's Fox News, this seems to be the dominant narrative right now. Is to been like, how do the bosses feel about what's happening? That's what everyone wants to know. How do the bosses feel? How do they feel what's going on? And we have the situation here when like it's like I said, this is multiple states. We have governors who are posting insane things about workers need to get back to work. It has become clear to me that we cannot have a full economic recovery till we get the thousands of variable jobs in our state filled. This is the Mississippi governor um, tweeting this about informing people that um, he would end the federal additional federal unemployment benefits. He is punishing people in Mississippi right now. Um, and they love it too. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> They're like, oh yeah, we voted for this guy. We love the fact that he's making our lives harder. We've got these guys actually saying that these people uh it's more lucrative they actually use the word lucrative 300 dollars a week is lucrative to these people according to how they see the rank and file american worker after many conversations over the last several weeks for mississippi business owners and their employees i doubt he was talking to those people but um it's become <laughs> It's become clear. Yeah, yeah. In unemployment, some some person working in a restaurant. Yeah, sure. In that shit. Certainly. <laughs> like, really, that was the conversation happening. So this is terrible. And he's not by himself. Um, this list is pretty, pretty scary. Right now, at the moment, you have Alabama, Iowa, Mississippi, Arkansas, Montana, South Carolina. As of Tuesday, um, May 11th, uh, cutting off the additional $300 a week. Um, the supplement is actually not slated to expire to September, but they're going to yeah. cut it off earlier because they want people to work on um, really great jobs in Arkansas. So, um, yeah. So let's skip all of the sarcastic bullshit and let's just straight, let's just jump straight right to it. Oh, so you we have covered on this fucking channel. We have covered on this channel for a couple of months straight now about how people feel about these kinds of workers these restaurant workers you keep disrespecting these people we want to keep your wages down we don't think that you deserve a living wage you're not going to get rich you know you know because 15 dollars an hour is rich that's wealthy when it doesn't even rent a one-bedroom apartment anywhere in the country let alone a two-bedroom apartment you, you can't even live as an adult but now you want to try to force people into these jobs that you've already let society know are not honorable jobs they're not worthy of being paid properly or fairly so after all this talk about how much you hate those workers now you're wondering why they don't want to come work for your organization you wanted it you made it clear there is a corporation out there that celebrated via email to their employees. Look, everybody, we kept your wages down because we don't respect you. And then you have the utter fucking nerve to wonder why people are not lining up to interview for yeah. your underpaying jobs. That not only, not only, not only did you make it clear that these people don't deserve to get paid for their efforts. But you're also saying that they shouldn't have any dignity while they work those jobs. And then you have the fucking nerve to try to force people into those positions. You've already said these are not good jobs and we don't respect you. You've already said it. 
And the thing is, like, you know, Dottie Regine's that respect, that disrespect is like deeper than just saying it. It's like literally uh, this next article was like another level of disrespect. And not only are you pay people low wages, that you you steal their wages. Um, so this is a thing that happened um actually like pretty badly during the pandemic. This is actually a thing that it, while we were outside clapping and stuff like that. Um, <laughs> You um, already know I call bullshit on the on the lip service. You well, know I, I call like bullshit I these, immediately. Uh, I, mean, I, I have we have plucked this one story here. This is insane. So we have um, so people like Danielle, like a ten an hour ten dollar an hour, and worker at convenience store clerk in Florida, who said her boss ordered her to work off the clock. Um, and then you have like Ruth, um, a janitor from Mexico, who earned less than minimum wage to disinfect a New York City hotel at the height of the pandemic. Again, yeah, people. Who's stealing wages from those people? They're stealing money from those people. Um, you're not stealing money from Jeff Bezos. You're not stealing money from you know Mark Zuckerberg. How can you, you know? steal money from them when they're the ones stealing the money? <laughs> <laughs> so like you have uh, pretty much the uh, we had a systematic stealing of wages. Uh, uh, most economists say that most wage theft is so pervasive that it's costing workers at least fifteen billion dollars a year. It's far more than the amount stolen in robberies. So yep. People are getting away with people are going to jail for less money than what these corporations are stealing from workers every day. So um Yo, check out check out this story uh down further in the article. Yuri Kalejas, a forty year old single mother, cleaning hotel rooms at Fairfield Inn and Suites in Pelham, Alabama. Kalejas complained to her boss that he was paying her only nine dollars an hour when she was hired at ten dollars an hour though she said she was working more than 40 hours a week she was not getting paid overtime her boss refused to change her pay rate her accounting she was owed almost thirteen hundred dollars we're talking about people who did the fucking work and you don't want to even pay them the low wage you agreed to, but it's her fault, right? And now, and now you're wondering why people, people are not lining up to work at your establishment because you've already showed your hand before you could put up some bullshit on a website and say, oh, well, we're offering competitive compensation packages. This, you've already shown your hand. You showed all the cards in your hand. You do not respect a rank and file American worker. I mean, literally, this was happening to hospital workers. This was happening to the hospital workers who were responsible for disinfecting our hospitals. They were stealing wages from those people. I mean, you can't make. I mean, you can't make it up. I mean, we knew this was happening. You knew. You knew this was happening in the pandemic, height of the pandemic. They were telling people to get fifteen dollars an hour. We're going to give you fifteen dollars an hour. No, the lower is to twelve twenty-five an hour. You know. And we're not even talking about your red state. This is supposed to be, you know, the progressive New York. That's why I don't that's why I don't give a fuck about any of these fucking politics. I don't care about your reds or your blues. I don't care about your white supremacist bloods or or, or your or your you know SJW Crips. I don't care about none of y'all. Because it doesn't matter where it is, you're showing your you're showing your true spirit. You're showing it by how you treat these fucking workers. I mean, there's a list of different stories. I mean, they had federal investigators caught circuit case stores underpaid employees 22 times since 2005. Most recently, in two, the total is $54,000 taken from 120 employees. Um, so this is like a systematic thing. They have Halliburton, um, which like sends people to like dangerous situations or kinds of things all over the world. Sends a lot of people to their graves, don't they? And, like they stole eighteen point seven million dollars from over a thousand employees. Um, Can so, we talk about where that eighteen point seven million dollars likely went to? Went are, to are we ready Cheney's to have pocket, that conversation? Probably. Went to Dick Cheney's pocket. Can Can we talk about how these uh, large companies rigged CEO pay? Yeah, it was during really, the pandemic, are we ready for that? Yeah, because this are, are, goes not only are they stealing money that they're like making more money in their own salary like I because mean, because I mean, remember so, gotta, the ceo's compensation packages gotta come from somewhere right <laughs> so this is a clip okay let's play? let's talk about it yeah let's talk about it so when they play this you want to talk about some dash and bash hello this is vanilla vanilla ice oh no ice, ice baby no stop 
stop. Stop. Hello, They're making us watch a listen, full dirty. Right. No. Second We're ass. To get this is Dash and Bash. With Stone Cold Steve Patrick, Austin. So, um, so half of the hundred largest a year on your U.S. employers. Are, so this problem, pretty much is saying it's a systematic thing that's happening here. A lot of people made a lot of money. You know his mother. Last year. So, ba so hold, hold on. Vanilla Ice did the, did the dash, boost to the and Stone Cold did the bash. Jobs and families plans. President Biden wants to add funding to schools, normal. businesses, infrastructure, and social services. Combined, both efforts would cost trillions of dollars. In order to pay for this, President Biden has proposed a plan to raise taxes on the country's top income earners and corporations. CBS News took a closer look at that plan. Joining me now is Money Watch reporter Stephen Gandell. Stephen something else. So yeah, I think yeah, that's on, on something else. So yeah, so basically what this is saying is just over half of these uh, corporations did a little bit of uh, sorry, what, like, what do they call it? Uh, Happy for the it, it, workers, <laughs> right? Like they like they really tapped into their artistic, uh, their deep artistic soul by. Uh, very creatively doing their accounting to ensure that the CEOs are making bank at a time when, you know, if you want to tell us that CEOs are getting paid because of the, uh, because of the, uh, the performance of their companies. Now they're trying to move the goalpost and say, well, you know, you know, they really, there's really nothing that they could uh, really do. And, you know, uh, over here it says the most common justification for pumping up. Pump, pump, pump it up. Just please. CEO pay during the pandemic was that it was critical to retain talent. Why do wow. We, do if you don't give me 30 million instead of the 25 million, I'm going to have to go somewhere else. Yeah, fucking right. Oh, but the guy that doesn't want to make eight fifty an hour flipping burgers while getting shit on by you. Oh, they're just being lazy. Oh, but you expect me to believe that this twenty-five million dollar year CEO, if you don't pay them more money, you know they're gonna stay at home. I really want to really because they're lazy. So this, I really want to see the numbers. So they say they pump up. So what does that pump up look like? Pump up the volume. Pump what up the pump volume. Look like so we have this auto parts company. Um, CEO Kevin Clark total compensation just over thirty one million dollars last year. That <laughs> doubled it fifteen. Million. That's that is a large pump up. Pump up. That's like double, yo. That is three hundred from fifteen million. To, that is that is literally a, is a, a woman with a B cup going to a surgeon <laughs> and coming out with a D cup. Literally, yeah, there's somebody walking out as Kim Kardashian or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> There's like 15 million to 31 million dollars. What's the justification for that? Do you really think? Do you really think he would have been like, damn, 15 million that I got in 2019? Yeah, our company is doing less business in 2020. To keep me, you'll have to pay me double. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I think I think that that I think that that's only fair. Okay. And this yeah. is one company. Uh, oh my god. Um... So pretty much they, they were cut and pay for the for the average worker. They were cut and pay up to um, 19%. Um, they were cutting way over the average worker's pay, but they gave that money, that guy. Um, that's absurd. 2,279 times that of the median employee. We're not even talking about the mailroom le level employee. They're trying to say that this guy, this Clark fella, like middle manager, Kevin Clark, mean? Yeah. He is worth 2300 people. <laughs> He's just a supporting those. That people. motherfucker is making mad auto parts with his hands. <laughs> so like So they did less business in 2020 and gave him more than more than 200% more. But but what makes it even more shadier is like other Counted that CEOs got the conversation in stock options and rather than cash. Um, uh, CEO lat pay last year revealed the dirty secret that CEOs are not really paid based on the individual performance. You don't say. Hmm. Oh, shit. Really? Ah, but that is the bullshit we've been hearing for over a decade. 
Is, is that what oh, they're we're giving this bonus right because of, you know, uh, shareholder performance and blah, blah, blah. All of a sudden, that's not a good enough metric to measure how much money. Just say what you mean. Our job is to give as much to rich people as we possibly can. And if we can justify taking it from the middle class and the working class and the working poor and the poor, then we are going to find ways to do that. People should check this out. This is, this is a large, this is really systematic. 300 companies, a, a, Bloom, a separate Bloomberg report found that compensation committees of more than 300 companies changed the executive co compensation metrics last year. That is a lot of companies. Um, that right now are begging people to go back to work for no money. Um, this is absurd, absurd feeling I have right now in this country. To see this, to know the inequality, to know my CEOs make, the more the stock options don't get taxed, all these different things you know about. Yet they're like, go back to work at Hardee's for 725 for like 15 hours. A week is some crazy bullshit hours that you make no money from. It's like, and then we're gonna throw a pizza party celebrating how we kept your wages down. Give you a rock. You heard they gave a whole bunch of nurses rocks for like working with nigga. Hard what? The pandemic. You hear about this? They gave like pull that shit up. No, no, we're not ending. We're not ending this this segment like this. Pull right. that bullshit up. <laughs> I'll put nurses rocks and see if it comes up. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Wait. The IPS study attributes the rise in CEO pay to what it calls a, quote, rig system, end quote, that rewards top executives even when companies perform poorly, as many did last year during the pandemic. That's wild. Yeah, I have that ready. I have that rock ready. It's like buried in Twitter likes. I want a rock. But that's dash and bash. Um, really, some serious dash and bashing happening right now. Uh, feels like when they open Walmart on Black Friday. That's what it feels like right now. Just a mash of like inequality and mayhem. Um, I hope that people prefer to just go fucking homeless and never. And it's not like these these fast places are serving food they're serving garbage and fancy packaging the packaging gets paid more than the employees serving it yeah right <laughs> i hope i hope none of you motherfuckers go back there don't take any more of this fucking disrespect they say that it's not an honorable job and you don't deserve to be able to have a place to live if you work there well go go for some of these other jobs i don't know apply for the ceo position at this auto parts place because <laughs> obviously he doesn't it's have to do anything to get 31 million dollars it's not based on individual performance it doesn't matter what he does he still gets paid 30 he still got paid 31 million dollars like that isn't that a crazy thing to ever see like that amount of money it's not based on individual performance so people need to think about that when we see all these signs up about while these bosses making people feel bad about going back to their shit. Close restaurant. all of the restaurants. <laughs> Close them all. <laughs> Close them all. All of them. And then you know what? You'll see all of these bitch ass corporations leveled up to their eyeballs. <laughs> Ch filing chapter 11, chapter 13. I don't know how many chapters are in the book. They're filing them. <laughs> and we can all live in the motherfucking streets. How about we all do that? Mr. Clark, come live on a two train with me, motherfucker. <laughs> Let's go. So this is a definitely a story to watch because this is definitely developing when they cut down unemployment, yo. Um, so this yeah, this ain't off. not the, this is not the last dash and bash segment, folks. No, yeah. I can guarantee you that. Yeah, yeah. So follow us on Black Power Magic Hour on Twitter, um, Twitch, and YouTube. Um, and then Dr. Regenius, he's live on Twitter, YouTube, Discord, Twitch. <laughs> Whatever futuristic platform that exists in the future, check out all his streams there talking shit. That's Dash and Bash.